Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, people. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Great. Waiting for the rest. Okay. Now, a couple of minutes. I'm going to wait for the rest of the students. Let's give them some time. Teacher. Hello. I'm sorry, eh, casi no le escucho, se le oye así bien, bien suavecito. Really, okay. Well, let me see, give me a second. Now, can you hear me better? Did you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Better? Okay. okay, very good. Let's see. This is eight to nine. Okay, I will I will introduce myself first, and after that I'm going to take the attendance, and after that I would like you to introduce yourselves with short presentation, okay, a short introduction, talking about what you do, where you live, and okay, what you like to do, where you work if you work. Okay, starting with myself, well, my name is Saul Montoya. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Ah. Can you hear me well? Jefferson says that he doesn't hear me well. Can you hear me well, people, or not? Yes, Give me your yes, sound. 
Okay. Okay. So check your audio, Jefferson. And check your audio so that everyone hears me well. Okay, I was telling you I live in Lourdes Colon. I've been teaching English for my goodness, almost twenty more than twenty-five years. Uh, teaching children, teaching adults, young adults. I have worked in different institutions uh, around 10 years. I work at ITCA with their academy, with their some technical careers. But when InstaForm started with these programs, so I moved to work with InstaForm with different institutions, basically with Inglés Corporativo, I've been working like maybe seven, eight years with Inglés Corporativo, teaching first on site and then online. With this online program, uh, English for Work program, also visiting companies, a lot of a lot of time teaching English. During the pandemic, uh, basically during the quarantine, I took a chance and worked as a call center agent from home. I I gave I gave that experience a try. At the beginning, I liked it. Because the first account I was working for is was nice, even though it was from from four p.m. to one a.m. It was nice because I I didn't receive too too many calls. I had time also to watch my series and Netflix while I was working, but then they closed that account and they opened another one. And the people who was in charge of that another one was terrible. So I didn't like it. The account wasn't bad. The people were bad. <laughs> so I I quit. I quit. I worked like uh, almost a year, maybe. Then I got a job as an interpreter. There is a, a Peruvian company who hired people here in El Salvador as interpreters. It was nice at the beginning. I was interpreting for uh, many companies, basically insurance companies and utility companies. When I mean utilities, I mean electricity, uh, water, uh, internet. Uh, services basically gas banks also bank and most uh, all insurance companies so uh, it was nice because as an interpreter you are not the one who are solving the problems you are just the mediator between the latino and the gringo that that's their problem it's not my problem they solve the problems i just was interpreting then they moved me to uh, the medical area. I worked a few months with them in the medical area, so interpreting for doctors, nurses. Um, it was nice. Now, sometimes a little bit stressful. I had to interpret once in the middle of a uh, a woman giving birth, a baby. I was telling her, push, push, push. Yeah, and uh, take it easy, Christian. I haven't taken the attendance yet. Um, I liked the, the job, but they were a little demanding. They didn't want you to make any mistake. And they didn't pay well, actually. Now, when I realized that interpreters make like thirty-five, forty-five dollars, and we were getting dollars per hour, and we were getting just three dollars per hour, I didn't like it. 
also when classes start again, I started with my class. This is what I enjoy the most. Uh, and it's better, better. The pay is better. That's it. So that's me. I spoke a lot about me. I'm married, I have four children and one granddaughter. I'm old, 58 years old, soon to be 59. That's me. So what about you? Tell me a little bit, not that much, but a little bit about you, your name, where you live, where you work, if you work or, or what you do. Okay? I'm all ears. Tell me. Voluntarily. Oh, come on, people. You you already passed the, the basic. Okay, Alba Luz. Very good. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. I am... My name is Alba Luz Cruz de Vasquez. I live in Soyapango. Um... I am house, houseless wife. Okay. Um, I am 20, 28 all years. Um, I'm married. Me, ¿Cómo se dice? Estoy casada. I am married. I am married. I have two children. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. okay. Very good. <laughs> Excellent, Alba. Very good. Okay, next. Hello, teacher. Um, my name is Jose. Huh? And for the moment, I don't, I don't work. And I am 27 years old. And I, I don't, well, I'm married. And I don't have the children for the moment. <laughs> and I like watching movies, series, and English. Uh, and I love the music. I love the music. And it's all. Okay. And, and where you live? <laughs> oh, sorry. I live in Agopa. Ah, okay. Very yeah. good. Thank you very much, Jose. Welcome. Okay, next. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Elena Marisol Peralta. Um, uh, I am 26 years old. I live in San Salvador. Um, I don't have children, and I and I like, uh, for example, I like uh, play in my cell phone. For example, Duolingo for practice my English every day, and also I like. Um, Chinese food. <laughs> um, and that's it. Okay, thank you very much, Elena. Welcome. Okay, next. Thank you, Wendy. Go ahead. Good evening. My name is Wendy Beatriz Aguillon Portia. I am 23 years old. I am a student. I am a student. And I am single. Um, I I like listen listen music. And that's it. Perfect. Thank you very much, Wendy. Veronica, go ahead. My name is Veronica. I live in the past. I'm married. I have uh, one child. I study business administration. 
Um, no more. Okay, perfect, Veronica. Welcome. Jenny, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. My name is Jenny Molina. I live in, in San Salvador. Uh, I am 39. Uh, I am work, uh, como puedo decir, uh, negocio de comida. I am work. In a food business. Okay, food business. Hey, you turn off your microphone. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Welcome. Okay. Uh, oh, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. My name is Christian David Galicia Ramirez. I am I am from El Salvador in in Sonsonari. Este, este, I am este, I am I am twenty three year old. Hey. Uh, I am. I, I like. I like. I like pupusas and chocolate uh, or coffee and, and milk. <laughs> okay. Okay, Christian. Very good. Thank you. And welcome, Carlos, David, go ahead. Hi, good evening, everybody and teacher. I, my name is Carlos David Lopez Amaya. I live in Soyapango. Uh, I am 30, 32 years old. Uh, I don't have children. Uh, I... I work in um, accounting and auditing. Uh, I like I like listening to music. Uh, for example, I like listen uh, rock, uh, rock, rock, uh, or in others genres. No sé cómo se dice. Uh, finish. Thank you. Okay. Hey, very good. Okay. No. okay, thank you. Oh, go ahead, Luis. Okay, uh, my name is Sander Mendoza uh, Orellana, and Glai Salsa Muchi in the Motocrit and I like the from the Transport in the Light Love, the Orellan Sat. Okay, thank you. Claudia, go ahead. Hi, good evening. My name is Claudia Constante. I am from Sonsonate. I am 27 years old. I am a graphic designer. I work from home. That's all. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Welcome. Gabriela, go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Montoya. I am Gabriela Tejada. Uh, I live in Chalatenango. I work in Tigo Money. I am married. I am 24 years old. Okay. Thank you, Gabriela, and welcome to this class. Ileana, your turn. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Ileana Elizabeth Hernández. I am 27. Um, I like I like play soccer. Um, my favorite food is um, pupusas. Thank you. That's a good Salvadorian. Okay, Margarita, your turn. The microphone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher Montoya. I am Margarita Arana. 
I live in, in San Salvador, working in Ministerio de Salud. I am nurse. Uh, uh, I am married. I have two daughters. Uh, my color favorite is blue. Ah, okay. Very Thanks. good. Thank you, Margarita, and welcome. Okay, who's next? I don't see any any hand raised. There are many missing. Okay, Lourdes. Good evening, good evening, everyone. My name is Concepcion de Lourdes Nunez de Canis. I am six years old. I am married and I have three child, children. Uh, I like listen to the music and I like the cinema too. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lourdes. Okay, there are some missing. Continue, who's next? One, if not, I will call you. Two, no volunteers? Okay, let's go with Wilma. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi. Uh, my name is Vilma de Cortez. I am 20 years old and I live in La Paz. Ah, okay, very good. Welcome, welcome, Vilma. Then we have Olga. Whoa. Are you there? Good evening. My name is Olga Valdez. I am from uh, Metapan, working teacher. Okay. Yeah. Solamente. Okay, Olga, welcome. Thank you. Dalila. Good morning, good evening, teacher. My name is Dalila Cristina Gomez Luna. I am living in San Francisco Opera. I am three, 33 years old. Um, I am work laboratory clinic. Um, I am like the music. Um, Chini, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yesterday I was near Gotera. I was in, what is the name? It, El Divisadero. Yesterday oh. I was there. Okay. Very hot, by the way. Very hot. Okay. Telma. Are you there, Telma? Good evening, teacher, everyone. My name is Talma Yamile Hernandez. My favorite color is green. I am 24 years old. And I am live in Sonsonate. And my favorite singer is Fran Sinatra. I love it. I love it just. Um Okay, very good. Thank you. The voice, Ron Sinatra. Okay, Ingrid, your turn. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Ingrid Morena Ventura Lucas. I am 23 years old. I am a student. I like to listen to music, and my favorite color is black. No more. Okay, perfect. 
Now, Jefferson. Are you there, Jefferson? Hi, yeah. teacher. Hi. My name is uh, Jefferson Alexis Perez Ponce. Uh, I like his uh, video games in I music. He plays. <laughs> Tell us. Okay, very good. And Alejandra. My name is Alejandra. I live in Quetzaltepeque. I live in music. I solo music. I like them tutos. Solamente. Okay, welcome Alejandra. Okay, people, just let, let me make a couple of comments. When we talk about what we like, for example, if you're talking about activities that you like, we say, I like listening to music. Not only I like listen to music, I like listening to music. I like playing video games. I like uh, watching movies. I like uh, what studying English. Nobody said that. Come on. I like studying English. Okay. So when you talk about an activity that you like, we use it in ing. I like working. I like teaching I like okay another thing remember that the word children children is plural itself so we don't say children's no 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 children that's it it is plural singular child one child two children okay don't say children please uh what else ah i didn't want to interrupt but when we talk about music uh, and movies also these are genres genres the spelling is g e n r e S. Genres. Okay, movies, genres. Comedy, horror, drama, sci fi, science fiction, action, genres. Music, genres. Rock, jazz, pop, reggaeton, uh, and, and <laughs> okay, whatever, okay? Um, what else? Ah, when you say I live in, I live in Lourdes. Because I heard some of you saying I living in. No, we don't say I living in. I live in. Okay? It's different if you say I am living in Lourdes. That's different. I am living in Lourdes by now, okay? But when I say I live in Lourdes, okay? So the two ways are correct, but be careful. I am living and I live. Different. I mean, different forms. The meaning is basically the same. Okay, basically that. So let's get started today. Um, hey, I didn't take the attendance. I need to take the attendance. Okay, Alba Luz Cruz. Say present, please. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Alejandra Maria. Mejia Avelar. Present, teacher. Okay, Carlos David Lopez. I am here. 
Good. Claudia Margarita Constante. Present teacher. Great. Concepción de Lourdes Núñez. I'm here. Good. Christian David Galicia. Present teacher. Perfect. Dalila Cristina Gómez. Present teacher. Great. Elena Marisol Peralta. I'm here, teacher. Great. Gabriela Alejandra Ramírez. Gabriela Alejandra. On here. I don't have a Gabriela who spoke. Okay. Um, Gabriela, ah, Gabriela Noemi Orellana. Present, Mr. Montoya. Okay. Thank you. Liliana Elizabeth Hernández. Present. Good. Ingrid Morena Ventura. Present, teacher. Good. Jefferson Alexis Pérez. Jefferson. What's there? Jenny Hakane Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Antonio Montes. Present teacher. Good. Luis Alejandro Mendoza. Luis Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, María, Mariela Araceli Martínez. Mariela. Olga Lisset Valdez. Present teacher. Okay. Rina Margarita Arana. I hear teacher. Ah, didn't hear your presentation. Um, Telma Yamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, Veronica Alicet Alas. Present teacher. Good, Vilma Aide Cortez. Present teacher. When, okay, Wendy Beatriz, <coughs> perdón, Aguillón. Present. Okay. So, Mariela Araceli and Gabriela Alejandra are here. Okay, people, let's get started. I hope you have the manual already. If not, let me share the screen to show you the manual. That's it. Okay, this is the manual for this module. Uh, section one, well, four, five sections. Today, oh, what a question here. How often do you exercise? Come on, don't ask that. How often do you exercise? That is the title of this lesson. And look at here, we have a top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. What are the top five sports in the United States? Basketball, volleyball, softball, football, and soccer. Oh, interesting. I don't see baseball here. I thought that it was very popular. It is very popular. Anyway, basketball, volleyball, softball, football, and soccer. And fitness activities, weight training, treadmill, stretching, walking, and jogging. Okay. Do people here in El Salvador, let's think about this question. Do people in El Salvador enjoy any of these sports or activities? 
what do you think? Which activities do people in El Salvador enjoy from this list? Football. Football, definitely. Let's check mm -hmm. it. Basketball. 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 Oh, ball. Ball. Well, let me, excuse me, I made a mistake here. I made a mistake here. Because football is not is soccer. Because football is, a, for gringos, football is the American football they play. Oh. Our football, they call it soccer. And soccer. Here, in El, here in El Salvador, people enjoy Football okay. is a hammer. Is that is correct, teacher? Sorry. Yeah, uh, football is um uh, is way of count. Yes, yes. It's the American football. American football. Yeah. Yeah, American football. Come we on. call it American football. For gringos, only for gringos. Uh, our football is soccer. They are crazy. Okay, and fitness activities. Which fitness fitness activities do you think walking. people enjoy in El Salvador? Walking, walking, walking. Mm -hmm. jogging, jogging. Basically, right. Okay, very good. I agree with you. Now the terrible question. What sports or fitness activities you enjoy? I like dance. Ah, dancing. Okay. Let's add. Okay. Let's add some other activities here. Oh, I, need I am working. Okay. Remember, I like, I like dancing. I like. Yeah, let me write I like or I love or I enjoy. Okay, what other activities do you enjoy, people? I like playing softball. Okay, softball. Softball. Mm -hmm. Okay, softball is there. Any other? Any different? Any other activity that is not here in the list? I like working. 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 Ah, working. Wow. Working. Camina. Ah, working. Working. <laughs> working. Ah. Hey, I said working. Working. Wow. <laughs> working. Okay. Good. I like spinning. Spinning. Oh, interesting. I like singing. Singing? Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. I like walking. Walking? Yes. Okay. Good. Well, talking about fitness or fitness activities or sport, I am terrible. I am what gringos say, a couch potato. <laughs> Do you know what is a couch potato? Yes or no? No. Do you know? No. No, no. no, no. <laughs> a couch potato. That's why they call a person who doesn't like physical activities. Yeah. If you don't like physical activities, you are a couch potato because you prefer, you only like to be in your couch. Your couch is your sofa. Yeah, your sofa, your chair, watching movies, watching TV, doing nothing, Bad. listening to music. That is a couch potato. I'm afraid I am a couch potato. Okay. Potato. Very good. That's what they say, a couch potato. <laughs> now, look at this. Um, 
this is another list and the ages groups. We have children, maybe you don't, we don't need this thing very clearly. But here, here it says children. Here it says teen. Teen or teenagers. Okay. Young adults. Young adults. What else? What else that here? Middle aged people. Middle aged people and older people. older so that is what they have here children mm -hmm. teen young adults middle-aged older people so who do you think enjoys these activities aerobics children teens young adults middle age or older people you can mark um, young adults teacher. yeah in my opinions, I I believe I know it's teens. Teen. Okay. Young adults. Maybe it's young adults. Maybe. Um, okay. Maybe the middle aged people. Um <clears throat> well, we can have different opinions, okay? So let's do this. I will send you this chart through through WhatsApp, and I want you to check it, okay? Or in your notebook, or in your manual, if you have it. But complete this survey, this poll, okay? Do it individually, and later we are going to compare. You, you are going to compare. Do you have it or if not, I will send it to you here. Uh, okay, complete the chart check according to your opinion.
Okay. I will send you to compare your answers in groups, okay? Join your, the breakout rooms and compare your answers, please. A couple of minutes talking in groups. Practice your English and your Spanish. Join the breakout rooms, please. Go to the small groups. Your classmates are waiting for you. Jose, Luis, Claudia, Elena, Vilma. Join the small groups.
Okay, welcome back. Now, here, which activities are used with do, go, or play? What do you think? Well, we have three examples. Aerobics is do aerobics. Baseball, play baseball. Bicycling is go bicycling. What about inline skating? What do you think? Do go 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 inline skating, teacher. Wow. Let's see. What it says here? Do you agree, people? Go in line skating. Okay. Soccer. What about soccer? Play soccer. Yeah, play soccer. What about swimming? Go swimming. Go swimming. What about tennis? Play, Play tennis. tennis. Yeah. Play tennis. What about weight training? Do weight training. Do weight training. And yoga? Should be two. Is the one missing. Do yoga. Do yoga, prof. Do yoga. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Mm -hmm. I have doubts with these two. Do training and going like skating. No. Let me confirm. Uh, because I think it's too in line skating. Let me confirm. I remember I checked it. Do. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, the correct form is, let's switch. This goes here, this goes here. You go weight training and you do in inline skating. Okay, that is the correct one. Okay, um, we're about to finish. I just, I'm going to read this conversation and, and record it for you here in WhatsApp. So you can practice the, or the audio, you can listen to it and practice the pronunciation later. What is the group? Oh, this one. The conversation says, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. You see? Oh, no. I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. You... Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not gringo. Let's do it here. But in a website that I where I checked is different. 
Okay. Do weight training. Let's follow the book. I often go in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm real couch potato. You see, the couch potato. I was telling you. Okay, let me record the, the audio. You can practice later. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, I already sent you the audio. You have it in WhatsApp. You can listen to it to practice the pronunciation later. And we are going to stop here because as you see, I need to start the other class from 9 to 10. So people, practice the conversation and we are going to practice together tomorrow, okay? Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you Thank tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, see bye you bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good see night. you later.